video. But first, Todd. This is Rick Dudley, the guy who helped out with Ripley's Believe It or Not Over the Phone. I don't drink much coffee anymore, but when I do drink it, it was all day. It was in a white castle or Dunkin' Donuts. I checked out the map. It looks like you can get it at all of these except Dunkin' Donuts. I hope you like it. Allegheny, the Berg Blend. Rick, this is nice. I helped him fix his game. Oh, and he didn't even buy it from me. But thank you, Rick. I appreciate it. We always appreciate it. And let's get on with our load of games today. Ah, Zachary, we got another best door for sale coming. Oh, oh, oh. Don't wait. But first, I'm gonna spill my soda. Pat, you're gonna have to clean this mess up. Okay. Look who came. Look at the size of this boy. And look at these glasses. You recognize Timmy? It's been two months since this boy graced his presence here. Here, come with me. Todd's gravitational pull pulled me back in. Up, we got Bruce here, I got Walt, and I got the baby. And look what we have here, look. With the famous tip and tell. Tip and tell, and there's another one here, there's two. Because this is so expensive. It's still in the crate. We're going to ship it just the way it is, and they're going to open it up brand new. A Guns N' Roses Limited. We have a bunch of these. Uh, look, another 45 RPM jukebox. And boys, you're going to be putting brand new control panel overlays onto our uh, class of 81. So that's going to be your ass assignment. Somebody is supposed to come and pick up these Robotron boards tomorrow. Let's see if they show up. There's a lot of cream down there. Todd's favorite company shipped another shipment. Come back here. Bruce is going to do the final testing on this game. Bertie's here. Hello. Oh, Goodbye. Actually, Bruce. No. Bruce did the last. Asked her, it's deluxe. This is a deluxe. We just got new cardboard in for it. So this is a in the process of being finished. Uh, the side art's done. Side art's gorgeous. Bruce is going to do the final test on this. This wonderful pinball machine. Okay, now what? Oh, this is going out. Look, two. Two. Um, strike masters. So we got two strike masters going out. Guys, I need. I think that got tested. Did Curdy is working on it? Okay. And the fun house is waiting on a bunch of parts. So we're in the process of running our extra lane. Are you getting the wide angle view, or why are you going back so far? Look, a new game came into the showroom. You guys can get this set up. Actually. I need this set up. We also have in the truck a Silver Bowl Mania. We haven't had one of them in eight. And your favorite, gold wings. And gold Ugh. wings. So why don't you get these ready? Joker poker, Stephen is repainting. So guys, why don't you put this together? Isn't that enough? We got enough stuff going out, right? Uh-huh. I'm, I'm satisfied. Look at this. February 1980. A little over 10,000 of these were made with Kevin O'Connor's gorgeous art. This is a treat. Now, Kurt, I wanted to do one last thing. The customer requested ice blue for the buttons. Now, let the guys do whatever they wanted to light this. So they have blue here. It's a beautiful mix. The back glass is near perfect. Ice blue. Can you get me them? We're going to change it now. So he sees we change it. So listen. Ice blue. What? Ice blue. Uh, 555s. GI. We have brand new caps. These three. Or these four. So these, <laughs> these four and these three. Okay? Brand new. We knocked out the original rollovers, put brand new ones in, and then we have them lit with fire. Blue fire, 
blue fire. Is that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. Here, ready? Yep. Yep, to do a quick vacuum. Uh, actually, while we're under here, we rebuilt the flippers. New plunges and links, new end of skirt switches, new sleeves, new coil stops. Of course, all LEDs. We also put on every single target a brand new capacitor. That capacitor allows a fast hit and records it correctly. And brand new cabinet switches. And we also put, obviously, a new logic board, a new dry lamp driver board, a new transformer board, new capacitors. We went all out on this thing. And Kurt, see what he did? Kurt, you know, Oh God, we have to change these too. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Wait a minute, you know, Kurt, we can change these fast. Here, watch this. There we are, done. Look, that's better. So we'll use the red ones. See, they sell clear and red. And Kurt took the big ball out, didn't you? I just put this right back in so I can tune it up and it won't roll through anything. Ah, you're no fun, you're no fun. Um, you're no fun. I wonder if it'll go around the loop. It won't even go under. Oh. These are from Strikes and Spares. That was the Gottlieb game. That was the Gottlieb. Now, listen. This game had a couple firsts. Uh, this kicker here, where it drives in here, see? Goes through here and drops out. There's a kicker that pops up and kicks the ball back, but it's m normally out of view. Isn't that something? Just passes right through there, and then you get points with that switch. That switch is dual purpose. It gives you 5,000 points, and it also tells the ball is there and kicks the ball out. Dual purpose switching. That was in the programming. Didn't know that, did you? There's only one switch. And this also had a feature the first time the carryover worked out. So SI is lit now. When it gets up to silver ball, the next person who spells silver ball, and it's all here. So you have to roll over the appropriate letter. S-I-L-V, okay, E-R-B-A-L-L. -L. Then you get, you spot another letter. Then you win a free game. That's adjustable too. You can, so you can change the settings in the switch. Now you see how it's flashing SI? So you'd walk up the game, you got your quarter in your pocket. So you know what? The silver ball is a long way off from popping a game. Then you go and play something else. But as people played the game, it would advance. Now there's a manual advance button. The only time Bally put this in, as a matter of fact, the only time anybody did where you, the operator, when they collect it, they could push the button and bring it up to any level they want and walk away from the machine. So frequently a, col a collector, the guy collecting the money, he would leave it spotted up to silver ball, close the door, and leave. And the kids would come running over to play because they knew all they had to do was sell silver ball and they'd win that free game. Isn't that nice, the way that Jim Patel did the programming on this, the design of the playfield. I'm not sure if he went as far as the programming. There's, there's not a lot of information on this stuff, is there? Anyway, let's see what happens. S, I, L, V, E, R. The B is out, Kurt, B. L, L, L. We got Silver Ball. Now you have to do Mania. M, A, N, I, A. Okay? We got Silver Ball Mania completely spelled Curdy. Aren't we great? 
and we got our credit. Of course, we, we don't get a credit now, but we did get it. See, it says here, complete silver ball, meaning first time, get wizard bonus for 15,000, second time, supreme wizard, and the silver ball mini for fourth time for kickers. So, you had to do other things each time you did the settings. We copied it this way, but it depended on what you want. See, our silver bowl specials are still not lit yet. So we have to go and do more, don't we? Don't we, Kurt? Ah, look. Now this has popped up. See right here? So when we go in here, the one switch, the, the knocker's up, the ball stays, we collect our bonus, and it drops. Now, of course, before LEDs, we didn't get that nice bright light. I still got lots of spell here. If we got a B, we have to figure out. No, it's B. This B is stronger than that. B. B. Well, it's lit now, see? It's A and V, A. Where's the V? There. Hit that V. Oh, look. Now it's lit, Gertie. The kicker special when lit. We have to get the kicker up, baby. Oh, what happened? Probably a loose box. There we go. Give the socket a twist. I know how it works here, buddy. I expect it never to have a... Now look, look here. Isn't this the, the ice blue here? This is ice blue from Comic Pinball. That lights this lane nice. 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 N I C E. Nice ice. Nice, nice ice. ice. Now, when we got the game in, this was a toilet. Have you been watching the videos? Uh, the cabinet is extraordinary now. It was not this nice. But oddly enough, here's an interesting story about this. This spent 25 years set up without the glass on it in a shop. A repair shop, Joe Connors. He was using this as a test bench to test the ballet system, ballet and stern games. So he never did anything with a play field. The good news is none of the plastics got broken. None of them. So the plastics are extraordinary. And we put these clear washers around there to ensure they don't get broken. Interesting story. Oh. Great story, Toddy. Tell us more. <laughs> I thought it was a good story. It was great. It was a great story. Well, to all these wonderful ways to win. Now, your specials and adjustments can be set to win games. I don't know what they have it set for. It's probably not set for free play or free games. Who knows? Maybe it's points. Did you play this enough, Kurt, to see if it's working perfect? Absolutely. Good. I saw that bee out three days ago. You did? Yeah. No, you didn't. <sighs> I wonder how strong the numbers are, Kurt. Certainly not on any kind of a, a tilt. Don't you love that slingshot? Now, there was an option, I think. Space Invaders has the same loop in the center. See, that raises your up kicker. See, your up kicker's here. Uh, Space Invaders had an option where you could put mini posts here. So it made it easier to go through here. Now, you can't uh, hear it, but every time you go through it, it activates the up kicker here. So it actually pulses this mechanism. 
Come on this side, let me show it to you. Poor library. Big, big thing here. Pulls the mechanism up. And then, see? And this kicks it. See how this floats? Locks in. Once this kicks it, it drops the mechanism. So there's no extra stuff moving. There's some uh, nyliners this rides on, on the shaft. And there's a spring here that helps it. So once it pulls it up, it's up. As soon as the as soon as this coil fires, it has to release it. And it drops out of view. They didn't use it again. It's interesting, they never use it again. I think in all the years I've had a game here, I've never had that mechanism fail. We did have some coils fry over the years in the game. We had operated three or four months. Uh, by the way, the three pop-uppers have all new parts. Bumpers, bases, uh, plungers. Isn't that nice? See, this saves it, and it'll roll into here. Save it. That's like a duel. Look at that. Below the flipper, you have a dual save. So even if you go down the toilet, Jim designed it so it could hit that and kick over. Now, of course, I'll get 5,000 if the thing isn't up. But what a great idea. So even if it passes the flippers, you still have a chance to get the ball back up on the field. So now you know a little more about your game. Now you'll understand what that little button on the gear does. And what a free game. That's right. You pop a game because that's literally telling the computer what you're doing. And your B and your L. Good sound, too. Beautiful design, beautiful game. And I am a beautiful person. I think it's ready, Curry. And look, we even topped it off with this high voltage sticker. Can you please touch the high voltage under the playfield and show us? There's no high voltage, Curry. There's nothing under here that's high voltage. <laughs> Same joke, same joke, same joke. Thank you for the same jokes. <coughs> Where is the place? I put that in. We put we put the the clear flex in. We put the metal plate in here with a screw, just in case the flex is going to They're opening right, right? Yeah, that's my thought. Now we top it off with a brand new place. I just ordered 30 more, or 40 more. Playfield glasses. So we put a new one on every game that goes out. I'm trying to liven things up. Nobody watches my videos anymore. Well, you do. You're watching now. Suckers. Curdy. No life suckers. Look at time is it? It's 12 o'clock. 12.30 on oh Saturday God, night. Is it really 12? Oh Saturday God, night. it's 12.35. Oh, what are we doing here? It's Sunday morning. Enjoy your silver ball. It'll be <laughs> fun. Thanks for watching. Good night. Peace. <laughs> well, did you like silver ball? Silver ball? Well, yeah, I showed him silver ball already, he, Kurt. He did? We got a lot of old footage to show him next, but look, first... This came today, and it's from the fruit company, and it's very heavy, Kurt. And it says here, there's a gift card inside. You have to get something healthy. You can eat something healthy. Ooh, that is heavy. Come on, you can do it, strong man. Do it. Do it. Oh, Kurt. Now that's hmm. a package. That's a big package. Who sent it? That's a big package. To Todd and staff from Linda Kaplan. Dear Todd, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you to you and your staff for being so great to me. Linda, that's a that's a friend of mine. That was very nice, Linda. She's not a fan, she's just a friend. She sent me all this stuff. 
Oh! I thought it was fruit. Mm. I don't think it's fruit. It's from the fruit company. No. Oh. It's a treasure trove, it Kurt. It is. It's nothing for the boys. It's this is all for, for no. This is for all you. for me. What? This looks like pear candy. Hmm. No, oh, it says ripeness. This is nice. These boxes are nice. But what are these, Kurt? Oh, they are pears. Look. Oh, very nice. Baby pears, and they're ripe. Very nice. Good. And lastly, Ooh. big pears. They're ripe. Well, I'm glad you opened it today, not next week yes, or we two weeks put, from now. <laughs> I know. We'll put these in. This isn't that nice. Anyway, look. Um, I want to show you some footage I took of a very rare System 1 logic board that we found in that batch of boards with none other than Stephen Van Splinter from GameZam. Let's look. Yeah. And what's really fascinating here are these two Gottlieb System 1 boards. Well, this, this, this is the one, a... this is the typical one we're used to seeing. Okay, it's the revision 001A revision. See where it says 001 revision A? This is D103, this is D102. Yeah, so this one here is 001, no revision. And we found this in the pile of stuff, and there's distinct differences. Up here, the 5101 is present. Uh, there, it's missing from this board, oddly enough. But the top corner, they have these jumpers here, where this one has diodes, see? We're not quite sure what's going on there. The, uh, somebody took out the, the crystal from that board. And the bottom left is all different, too. Yes, down here, there's a big difference to this here. See, there's four in a row. I think it's possible there's chips out, but yeah. There, then this was holding three cells rather than the one. They never improved, of course, that mess. Um, they're all, both of them are missing these. But these, these were in sockets. They actually had sockets yeah, never to hold. That. These chips, the spider chips, were in these are soldered directly in. No I think that was for more stability, so they wouldn't be mm -hmm. as flaky. These have the normal dip switches, they're not in sockets. Yes, they're soldered right to the board, and these dip switches would have plugged in. Interesting stuff. Mm -hmm. The back of the board, we had a jumper wire on this that was dangling. We're not sure where that, that just kind of was loose. And then there was some work going on over here. You will never know if that was the original or, you know, no, added. Never later. know. Uh, backside. I guess they're similar. Of course, um, up in the corner, there's big differences on that board as opposed to this one. There's differences. Fascinating. It's a treasure. Huh? A treasure. It's off to the game museum. That's right, and you'll be able to display it. That's right. Another limited edition going out. These are flying out the door. This is the new batch, too. These are really good sellers for Christmas. Uh, great game. Beautiful game, isn't it, Kurt? It's very nice. Gorgeous. Oh, and I have one standard edition left. So this is the limited, and I have standards that are cheaper. I have one standard. Let's watch the old stuff now, shall we? Will you put a new glass on this one? After you touched it with your greasy fingers? Mmm, Curdy Blaze! Ruined. Yeah. This is a game we sold four years ago. We just got it back. But this game was made in 1979. Mm hmm. That was 42 years ago. This is an old one. Uh -huh, wide body. They call it a wide body. See, it's as wide as me. And this is Zach and his daddy. 
and they came yeah. here to pick up two games. You saw, I hear you saw the video. I sent them a private video. Oh, you did. Come on back. Let's look at them. Let's take a peek. There it is. This, yep, yeah, you can climb in. There's a young man that, oh, there's bolts in there. They're the sea bolts to hold the sea one. I'll kill them later. That's hard to use on the bolts. There we go. Now, you can move the seat forward. So we put, pull this arm up. You bring it all the way up. And you put the arm back in to lock it up. And you hit that start button. Good. And now you pick out what you want. And you can start again. Uh, we're going to keep it in auto. Good. Get your broom on, boy. You have to hit that gas pedal. Right there. Can you reach it? He's got it. You can rev it, too. I'm in the rev water. It. You're back on the road. <laughs> Where is he now? What's, what, what country is this? He'll get the hang of it. He knows that, Dad already knows how to fluff the pedal. Yeah, double tap it real quick. Double tap. Yeah. Dad, can you please stop? <laughs> Dad. Uh oh. <laughs> There's. Oh, you got it. That's it, Lucas. That's good. And once we sprinkle sand on it, it'll be a lot better. It'll be a lot easier. Once you get chance, you know, used to throwing that puck. Good. We have air hockey already. That's right. Well, Lucas, are the games loaded? They are? They're loaded. Oh, do you need some help, boys? I, I came out to help you put the games in the truck. Which games do we have here? Um, Strike Master and the Huh? And whose birthday? Is it on Sunday? Well, when well, we count to three, we're going to point. Whose birthday it is it? One, two, three! That's right, you! It'll be five! That's a nice Christmas present. Christmas. 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 Oh, I'm exhausted from loading this stuff. You're pooped. Pooped. Oh. Look, it's done. The guy's been waiting so long. Beautiful Mortal Kombat 2. Original control panel overlay is on this machine. It was protected by plastic when it was brand new. Valley Midway put one on it to start to cover the art. We took it off and unveiled a perfect decal. Perfect decal up front. We put new orange T molding on it because it works well with the orange in the picture here. And it's a beautiful. Look, artwork on the side is original. This is the Bally Midway original art. Stephen recolored the orange. <coughs> Excuse me, the rest of it's perfect. It's beautiful. We have four new footies on it. It's beautiful, one side and the other. It's nice, Kurt. Is it the same side art on both sides? It is. It's two Chris's. Two short rounds. Two short rounds. The only thing I wanted to do, Kurt, is I want to put a screw to hold this. Well, you know where the screws are. They're back there. The screwdriver's over there. It won't take you long. We have a new power supply in there. This went through hell and back. An original Nintendo cabinet that's like new now. All new paint, new tea molding, custom art. This is from Escape pod. They had a package deal. You got the side art, the monitor bezel, we had it printed. Side art, you got the side art. The marquee. I know it's late. It's late. <laughs> monitor, we had printed on, on blackout plexi. Mm -hmm. And it stuck right on it, right? They normally give a sticker. I didn't want to get involved with it. The new overlay, though. Okay, new side art here. This is the side art. That's not good. So, in here, 
We have a brand new Paris fly. Still have the manual in it. We have the cage open. This is the board slides in. So it's a single, it's a uniboard, so it'll run other games too. Uh, TV monitor has all new capacitors. Are they a bunch of capacitors in that thing? My God, Kirk, you changed a, to a load of them. Did you? No, I had somebody else do it. Good job. I don't do that. What do you gotta do? You're the boss. Applesauce. I would never say that. Understand rubber band? Never say that either. Well, we did back in the 60s. You also Except were smoking lots of weed, <laughs> dropping lots of acid. <laughs> but that's another story. Now listen, on this game, player one plays on this side. Okay, and player two plays on that side. That's so unique that player one would play on this side and player two would play on that side. Well, normally it would be the other way. No, that would be I one and that would be two. This. That would be opposite. That's yeah, this button. What the heck is he saying? Still dropping Look, I acid. killed him. Get that. I, I never figured it. This is a new game. This, this, when did this come out, Kurt? Recently. How do you get up there? You gotta hold the button down. Oh. There you go. Oh. Buddy. You never played Mario before? No. Did I miss anything? <laughs> Come on. Oh! I just knocked that idiot. You gotta get up there and get to the question mark. Ugh. Well, what's in the question mark? You become big. Oh. Yeah. Get oh, that. wait a minute, do I want Get that? It. Yeah, hurry. Now you're super, so you're flashing, you can run into these guys. Oh, oh, I'm hurting them. Do I want that question mark? You want all the question marks. How do I get them? Do you hold the button down? Almost. There you go. Now keep hitting them, keep hitting them. There you go. Gotta collect coins. I don't know that. You should. Kids go nuts for this. When did this come out, last year? Two years ago. Oh. Oh, well, okay, I got all four of them, Curdy. Nice. You can go in one of the pipes. You can? I don't know which one. I'm lost. <coughs> oh, you missed the pipe. Oh! Oh, it. Curdy, I won! You did it. What happens now? Um, you save the girl. Oh, look, I got a star. No another one, another level. I don't want to play this anymore. I'm done. Now, if this, when I go in here, what happened? Down the sewer. Oh. Music changes. Go get that uh, mushroom. Crap. What a horrible game. Who's got time for this? Anyway. Anyway. Mortal Kombat. Gorgeous. I'm really good at this. Now watch my fingers fly. Now this is fighting. You'd really have no idea how to do this. Now this button is called Bitch Slap. Yeah. We're already losing. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Oh! That wasn't fair. It's just like you in the cafeteria back when you were in high school. <laughs> All right, let's get this up. He's got to go back tomorrow. I gotta go. It's Thank you. Goodbye. Another alley cat's done. Only displays from pin score. Look, top dog. That's gonna be done soon. That has all new displays. And then the one on the end. What one's that one? Is that gold mine? Yeah. Gosh. And then we've got a strike master. One right after the other. But look, let me show you this. Let me show you this. This is Frank. It's coming. Wipe it off. You better finish this. The guy's screaming. Where are looking at paper? He needs to finish what they were doing. It's a comeback. They didn't do all their shit. Just tie that in. Look at the firepower. Oh. All right. Cool. Come over here. California's shaker. Well, that's almost done, but I want to show you this beautiful Star Trek. Oh, boy, is it a honey. Uh, there was extra cost involved. We powder coated this blue, and we have powder coated legs to go with it. It's beautiful. And, uh,. This was actually done when we got the game here. Somebody had added these speaker covers. But we supplemented it, of course, with the full color display. 
to, uh, to beautify it a bit. New targets, new stickers. Um, we've added extra lighting here to light this here. This lights are, are um, kind of projects onto the white targets, the blue. It's, uh, it's finished. Mr. Spock was added. That was uh, added and so was this. Uh, and uh, I think it was this one <coughs> by the uh, previous owner. He put them in. Oh, and I think he stuck this one now. I was going to try to take that off, but he put a glob of glue on it. <coughs> Excuse me. But look at the cabinet. Steve has worked his usual wonders and made the cabinet beautiful. A lot like me. Um, just gorgeous. It's pretty. I, I gotta figure out where we're gonna put my sticker on it. Maybe I should put it, I cover up the unlimited million shot. Sign it. I gotta come up with something good. Well, that's next. Good. All right. We're ready to pack this thing up and then get. Uh, this on its way. An adventure that started in Alabama. And these two fools, these two customers, oh. drove from Alabama to pick up three wretched parts machines. Genesis. Genesis. However, Genesis. <laughs> but that I'm positive they can make one good one for sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Out of them. Wouldn't it be the first time we did that? This is Morgan. And this is Scylla. Now oh. something tells me that you have some kind of an arcade? Yes, we do. Uh, can you tell me, well, where is it? Uh, you could find it down in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. Ah. Uh, we're located in what's a place called Low Mill and we're called Starlight. Both Starlight Express. Something like that. <laughs> Starlight. We love the name and we're going full 80s arcade with it, black light, bowling carpet. It's I gorgeous. already saw pictures, as a matter of fact, Look at this place. Isn't that neat? It's really nice. And they have in this place now how many games? Uh, how many still? We have 14 pinball at the moment and five video games. Yeah, but we're already expanding. We took the wall down and getting ready to add more. Oh, Good. yeah. Like a now, Genesis. <laughs> it's flat rate. Yep. How much is it an hour? It's $12 all day, uh, $8 for an hour, and kids get in for only six bucks all day. Good. So and under. Yeah. Now they're, they're, that's the lowest pricing ever. So it's uh, ten and under at six bucks for the mm -hmm. kid all day. It's eight dollars if you just want to play an hour, and twelve dollars stay all day. Yep. And is it six days a week? You're closed Mondays. So closed Mondays and Tuesdays. Because they're here. It's Monday and Tuesday. Yeah. It's going to take you full, you, you folks, twelve hours to drive all the way back. I'm looking at twenty-four hours non-stop right now. Yeah, more than all the driving. Well, they're going to stay in the area. First, I'm going to send them to lunch up at Maggio's. Awesome. That's where they're going to go first. And then I'm going to tell them about the famous Mercer Mansion, where everything was made out of concrete and was afraid of fire. <laughs> That's if you're into amazing looking mansions. Yeah, actually. It's only 30 yeah. minutes away. I guess it's time for me to get my money, isn't it? All right. And then I'm going to take it off the list. Do you know how many dreamers ask me about the Genesis? Can you miss the button? No, I'm not putting, I'm done. I'm done right. making more Genesis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm done. You can get brand new ramps though. Jody makes them. Jody's Perfect. company is right here. Okay. And you can get brand new ramps, different colors even. Ooh. So it's really nice. We're so, very excited yeah. for that. Yes. Oh, you will be happy when you get your Genesis gorgeous again. Oh yeah. It's and maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe you could do a second one. I don't think so. Yeah. At least one. At least we keep to the theme of the machine, right? Yes. And oh. then you'll have parts to sell to people. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> We're already planning on that. Heading up Southern Pride. Parts a go-go. <laughs> yeah. Where should I put this 42 years of greatness? Any idea? Hopefully over your mouth. I could. Look, Jonathan, let's put it right here. You got these stickers made. They can't be removed. It'll actually, the wood will come off. The, another one of these, but this is our first Tales from the Crypt with the full color display. 
You did a nice job up oh, here with the color. Isn't it? It's beautiful. <coughs> look, look how they put the credits with multicolors. They layered in the colors. It's really nice what they created with this. Beautiful. Look, coming soon, Tommy. It's coming soon. I blew up here at the red. Uh, he added extra lighting back here. Okay, and color coordinated it. I thought that was quite nice. Uh, we got the fire LEDs here. Uh, this has been lit. And of course the buttons. Now what we also did is powder coated the side rails. Never done that before. So the side rails are powder coated. And the legs of course are, will be powder coated. So that'll be done too. Nice, isn't it? A new drop parking, new stickers uh, on the target. Of course, we don't have it. We don't want to pick. That is that. Does that sound like me? Oh boy, I, I actually jumped the ramp and went down the wrong way. There we go. That's better. That's better. Nice. It came out nice. Crypt Keeper. Kept us our girl back up. Captain Ball. Here's the Captain Ball. Skull Kraken. I got another ball with Skull Kraken. Did a lot of work on it. The game is in pretty good shape, but it had never really been properly serviced. And we had to do a lot of different things. We did a lot of nice yeah. things. So. Ah, and now, if I go in, I get Insta Multi Ball. Steven did his magic touches, didn't you, Steven? Did you hear that? Was that you that did that? Scotty Scott, did it. Scotty did it. Go ahead, do it one more time. He's getting rid of ready uh, firepower that's going out with Roadshow. Uh, Roadshow is. It was Scotty that did that. He's been practicing. Well, Greg's been waiting a long time for this thing. Oh, oh but this was the here. I forgot to show them. See? This was never lit. Isn't that nice? Dark blue, you can get the strips from colordmd.com. We're done. Let's get this out, Jonathan. Okay, we just got this. Beautiful, marvelous. Zach is his first experience. A multicade that somebody made. Now, it's clever to start that they managed to put a button here for the left person. See how nice it is. And one on the right. See how nice and tight it is. They neglected to put two since there's 60 games. Some of the games do have a second button. But I guess that extra hole is just too difficult. But here's the best part. It has a, the original Geo 7 in here, and when he took it out, I guess, to make adjustments, he must have lost the nut and bolt, because he's using a very fancy wire tie system your screwdriver to install it. And you'll notice, too, when he was preparing it to sell it to this home, he painted it a beautiful yellow. He painted everything, Zach, including the plate. I'm going to make this pretty! Uh, uh, I 
wrong, but I, I'm gonna make it pretty. That's what he said. Now here's the best part. Let's get rid of all the old pesky wires because we're putting a multi cade in it. Right? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Zach. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just get rid of the isolation transformer. That basically means that this television set will turn on and off fine for a hundred times. But on the hundredth and first time, it will blow up. And then there'll be no picture. So the guy we got it from says, The guy wouldn't come out and fix it. We can hear it, but we can't see it. And that is because this blowhard ass, no isolation transformer, no fuse. Gone. He got rid of them, didn't he? Didn't he, Zach? Yeah. He also got rid of the on-off switch. Oh! So the switch doesn't do anything. It's, it's not even there. Oh! Fix this! That's what he did. So now, now you can see the master at work. I'm willing to bet that it was, in fact, my creepy competitor that did this. Are you boys throwing things at me on purpose? Absolutely. Are you? Absolutely. Pretty good. Absolutely? Little Chris, absolutely? I'm not off you on video. Well, you are. You're an employee. No, I'm not. So you can go bang it up your... I can't say that. I, I, I just did. I just edited it there, too. Wasn't that fun? You should get these half-assed idiots you, in the business making games and have zero idea what they're doing. Zip tied monitor. Zip tied. They were heavy duty zip ties. Why bother with bolts? Did you like that? <laughs> what were you gonna do? I was going to put my sticker on. How many stickers are you going to put on the game? I'm going to put stickers on everything. There's already one on there. I'm going to put a second one on. I want to put a sticker, sticker on. Sticker, 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 sticker. So Do people you know can just scream at you. How much my horrible haters hate it when I put my stickers it's on. It's not just your horrible haters, it's your employees too. Everyone? Yeah. You know, we sold this. Yes. To one of our real good customers. His name is Matt. My buddy. He bought it brand new. In 2015, never left his home. He loved it. Home use only. He passed away. <laughs> oh, Matt. And Sorry. he did some neat upgrades, though. He added the the camper. He also added the burning house. And take a lot of these little signs. The little signs. I don't he think added. they're in the original game. Yeah, and then um, I think yeah, this was added. Um, did he add the people in there? I don't remember. But we added, when it came back in, we lit this area here, and we lit the buttons and the shooter lane, and then added the color display. It's beautiful, isn't it, Curdy? It's a nice looking game. Now it's been in the home its entire life. Um, and we took off the metal washers and put the clear ones on. So, not one plastic is damaged or broken. The ramps are crystal clear. The game is in great, great shape since it was never publicly vended or operated. Matt would have approved. He would have approved. Of the color display and everything? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, well, Matt. Let's see what you've got. Poor Matt. But it's beautiful. Mm, it is nice. It's gorgeous. It's ready to take on its new life. We're shipping this out to California. It still has the, the book. It has a manual for the uh, cash pans. Lid's still there. I should take that lid out. Just kidding. You see how nice Timmy's lighting system is here. Uh, so this lights this here. Oh, you know what? I wanted to add that. He put the bulb in, too. So let's put the bulb, or bub. Yes, so I got to put it on the bulb. Yeah, let's put it here. There you go. And let's watch you work. 
Well, I work hard for. I know you do. But I work hard for my money. I also. It's a shame I wasn't recording any of this. Should I hit the record button now? Quite excited because I totally take him out and stuff him tonight. I just wanted something to drink. Some liquor. Liquor? Sure. Here we are. How's that? Very nice. Good. It's ready. It's ready to it's go out. It's like there's zero pitch on it, so... Well, I'm not going to play it. Oh. But... No. But... Yeah. Guess what, Kurt? Look. There's no on-off switch here. It's up front. Isn't that nice? It's probably one of the last yeah. games that had it. Yeah. Up front. Yeah, I think 2015, I think, yeah. 2014, I'm not sure. Now, what's the other one going to here it is. The incredible firepower. And it's in incredible condition. It's really nice. Brand new LED display system. Okay? So that was put on a brand new back glass. Okay? Brand new logic board and driver board. It's all in one. A brand new power supply. Okay, now that was all in the game when we took it in trade. And but we took the soundboard out and put all new capacitors in. We you have to talk it. louder because you never shut the fan off. Huh? You never shut the fan off. Well, then uh, that's just talk too louder. Bad. I can hear me. I don't know. Now, most important, look, Kurt. It's, but Kurt found out the transformer is just 220. This transformer, right, Curtie? Yes. So it's 220. But because it's an older computer, it's going to Canada with the road show. Now, we did a couple of nice, interesting things here with this thing. Um, we have color changes in here, so we did a little differently. See, we like the toy things, and we have a red fire LED here. And here. LED. And there's also one over here where the ship is. So, uh, he, we just did a couple alternatives, but I want you to see something that's important. This is so easy to do. The green lock, okay? And we just ran two wires up. And we bought this socket. Do you see that on the screen? And we could put a green light there. So when this lights, the hole flashes. These holes never, see the hole up here? They never lit before. These holes never lit before. And we also bashed out the old rollovers. They were all cruddy and crunchy. And for five bucks, you put a brand new one in and the color changed. Bash, bash. Green here. Cabinet, cabinet, and shooter lane. That's a Timmy exclusive. That was that boy's idea. Pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. Back glass looks sweet. That's awesome. It's nice. Beautiful. Perfect, like me. What are you doing? I showed them it was 240. Back on. Now look, look, I want you to see the dramatic effect. Curdy put a red LED here, a flasher, and a blue one here. Now, you don't see it yet. There's LEDs there. But I want you to now watch. Watch what happens. Now watch the vibrant flash. Here we go. Go ahead, Curdy. This is it. Ready? Yes. Here it comes. Ready? Yes. Here we go. So great. Oh, that was fantastic. Oh my god. Please. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Curdy, don't you understand? Woo -hoo. Curdy, please. It's so exciting. Curdy, but don't you understand? Oh this is the so state great. of the art. <laughs> that was so great. Oh, wow, you're a mean, oh horrible man. So great. Oh my god.
Curdy, did you see the shield? The mm -hmm. auto shield? See, look. Let's see. It, your shield, see? That's great. Oh Isn't my god, that's even more exciting. <laughs> Oh, the kickback. They thought this game was the cat's meow when it came out. Look, see it flashing? And see the hole? See, look, now watch what happens, Kurt, when they go in the hole. The light's frozen, and you can still see Mr. Ball. And if you go up here like that, and do it just right, you get three balls, Curdy. And then, enemy destroyed. Now watch, watch what happens, Kurt. Look, look at the flashlight. Look up here. What? One. One. Two. Two. Kurt, this was state of the art. Three. This is 1980, for goodness sakes, Curdy Birdie. 41 years ago. That's awesome. Nothing is as good as this. There's, yeah. This game is perfect. Throw my medieval madness away. Just throw it in the trash. <laughs> Get rid of it. It's junk. Thank you. Finally, you admit. What night's trash night? <laughs> Look, the evil man is be on my driveway. This trash. man is going to find it difficult to find a nicer firepower than this. He's just going to have an awfully hard time. And we mark the connectors. Now, remember, isn't this the one where you can blow everything up if you plug one plug in backwards? Put the color codes also. Okay, Curdy. Mark. Curdy marked everything. One's black and one's white. Don't plug them in back. Uh, see, these two plugs are identical, but they're cleverly two different colors. So you've got to pay attention when you hook this crap up. Plug it in in the dark. Yes. I think that would make a good idea. Guess what? She ran Yes, another one. Look, Stern's famous wildfire. Michael Spelled Martin. wrong. Michael Martin Murphy will be right over. Spelled wrong. I think it's Michael Murphy. No, it's, it's those three names, yeah. Martin Murphy? That's what they've been going by on the commercials, yes. You remember that, Kurt? Yeah. You loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Um, a very good customer of ours is getting this, along with Babe Watch. And this game, Kurt actually has to do the final test in, but uh, we have to get the, the uh, instruction cards put in. But Kurt um, uh, will finish up all the fine tuning on it, but the cabinet's beautiful. Thanks to Stephen. All repainted. Is the garden snake out of the bottom of it? Garden snake is gone. Sweet. <laughs> come, come. Well, was there one in there? There was one in there. There was. The garden snake is gone. The colors are brilliant and beautiful and bright. And Stephen did a beautiful job to recreate the spots that it had on it, the black spots on the yellow. He, he did it. It's just gorgeous. We've also added the light here, and look, this is a Timmy exclusive, please look. See, you'll be able to select how far you want to pull the thing out and let it fly. Isn't that nice? And then the button over here is the tip. Mm -hmm. it's nice. And it's in beautiful condition. So he still ha he still has to do stuff to it, but uh, I wanted to give you a preliminary. We're going to do one more video. Uh, I think he's got a problem. We're going to do one more video on this game, Babe Watch. I just want a game, Curdy. Yeah. I want a game. Okay. Well, it's a good start. It's coming along. It's coming along. It's coming. Said. I wanted to give you a. See, we got a lot of games coming along. Here. Pretty fucking one.
brand new board. That's exploding. Wow. Okay. Nobody's blowing anything out. Anybody's. Okay, then we'll need to change the capacitor. There's no. Uh, no music. Aha. Okay. Well, it's it's a wake wake and progress. Hmm? Wake, as they say. Hmm. Fantastic. A pinball repair job is never done. We just got a load of games actually restored. Led Zeppelin Premium, Jurassic Park The Pin, Turtles Premium, uh, a Pro Led. Uh, this was here before. That's an Avengers Pro. The last one, last new one in the world, from what I understand. We have two uh, limited edition Wonkas, and these were just made, see, November 2021. This is uh, uh, two of the 200 made, and we got two Guns N' Roses Limited. These were made in August. So these are later runs. Later runs, folks, are good things. Now we also uncreated, we have next door a Star Wars Pro, or a uh, comic, home one and we got a sef second Star Wars here and that is going to one of our good customers Keith in Arizona that is a slug fest you can see how we have it wrapped up like a cocoon now Tony my beautiful Tony that's you Tony shut the camera off you zoomed in all the way you're so stupid F F F who said that you Never. No, I never heard that. Take two. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Turtles. Oh, God. Is that one in the showroom? Uh, well, I don't know. I have more premiums than pros. So maybe we'll set a premium up next week. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, the tin, the tin's called Bonkers. Right? Yeah. That's, is that heavy metal? Heavy metal. Yeah. Okay, that's going to go next door. You going to open it? No, he wants to see it open. He wants it new. I, I, I think he will open it. I have to let him do it. And then we're going to load Tony. Tony's going to do some deliveries. Uh, and he's taking these two cruisings with him tonight. He's also taking uh, uh, a Star Trek to a singer, Ray Lamontag, uh, and Laser War, no, Stellar Wars Overhaul. Uh, he's delivering them all tomorrow. So it's really nice. And then Timmy and his brother Tom are delivering high speed, uh, a new Led Zeppelin Pro, a class of 81, and something else. See, there's a lot of stuff going on. My goodness, Mike still had some new ones in the box left for us. They're all committed now, you know. There's like nothing left new. What's that? Certainly not for Xmas. No? No more heavy metals, they're gone. The last one, I missed it. I wanted one extra. He only had the one which we already sold. Not to you! I wanted to see what it looked like. I did. Oh. Well, oh, the Cruisings and Tony soda machine is in there. And we're gonna take these two pins next door and load up Tony's last two. Well, I hope you guys had fun with our video tonight. And look, my two twin boys. What's up, Tony? They're hey, playing Tom. games. Some wonderful games, huh? Yeah, I can't stop playing this game. It's so much fun. The well, man. we have, we, have up, we sold an awful lot of them. A good seller for us, boys. Yep. We only have about two left, I think. Well, they'll be gone by the time this video goes up, probably. Yeah, time, people will be excited to wake up with this movie. That's right, it's almost Christmas. It's so good that you do it every time. Okay. I like it better than the Star Wars. Star Wars ain't bad, but this is way better. It's Jack Danger's own design. Great game. Uh, you're good. No! 
Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed tonight's episode, well, my boys. Happy holidays, we don't see you by then. We should see you by then, we'll see. Come see us at TNT Twins. That's right. Twins, Twins Arcade. Twins Arcade, baby. It's up there. Twins World Order, right there. Good night. Thank you.